Well, I was born ready. How about you, Melissa? You ready? <laughs> when were you not ready? All right. This is people on this like, what are, what are they laughing at? We'll never tell you. We won't ever what we're just going to say is, we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> We're live, and it's Tuesday, November 15th. It's 4 o'clock in Los Angeles, California. It is 6 o'clock in Chicago, Illinois, and in New York City, it's 7 p.m. Hello, everybody. Welcome to What's the Buzz. I'm your host, Mad Dog DeCipio, joined by my co-host, Amelia, the Pitbull Chapman, and my additional co-host. She's riding shotgun with me tonight. This is Melissa, the Arctic Wolf Black. How are you, Melissa? Doing good, thanks. How's everybody else doing? You are riding in the uh, shotgun with me tonight. You're riding in the big chair. (laughs) It's comfortable. Um, (laughs) We'll see how comfortable you are by the end of the show. (laughs) (laughs) And Amelia, the pit bull chat. How you doing, Mill? I did good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Amelia is our producer. She's been here for a long time with me. You've been here almost, you, you realize, almost a year now? Almost, yes. Almost, mm-hmm. a, it'll be a year, I think, maybe like a couple January months. or de- December or January? January. Mm-hmm. January, that's right. January is a year. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it sure is, too. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. I you was a guest on here. the show. Mm-hmm. You know, my wife is amazed that you're still here. She said, I'm surprised <laughs> Amelia hasn't <laughs> left you. Told you all. Kiss her ass. <laughs> I mean, we talked about that a lot. He goes, how does, it, how does she put up with it? I said, because she's invested in this show. Yes. This is, you know, her baby here. Yes. Oh, by the way, check out, check this shirt out. Look at this. Oh, cool. Our friend Randy Hogan. This is one of Randy's shirt. I'm going to have to plug Randy Hogan. Uh, hey, Our Randy, friend Randy. <laughs> He, yeah, Randy is a Hulk Hogan lookalike. Mm-hmm. He really does. He looks like Hulk Hogan remarkably. Mm-hmm. And this mm-hmm. is one of his um, merchandise, his shirts that he mm-hmm. what he sells. That when he goes and you, know, you can get like he'll sign it for you and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Cool. But yeah, but Randy, Randy, if um, if you're out there, pop in, say hi. We have a. Um, We've gotten a lot of requests for different things, you know, on the show from time to time. We get um, we get requests to do the Illuminati, um, devil worshippers. We get the request to do um, secret lo- locations, hiding in plain sight, that kind of stuff. But one of the things we get all the time is I get deluged with requests to do shows about chemtrails. Mm-hmm. Now. Those of you that are conspiratorial minded, like us three ruck and whack jobs here, um, <laughs> we love a good conspiracy. But, but you know, every good conspiracy of, as I've said this before, every good conspiracy, like every good rumor, has some anchor in truth. Well, tonight we're going to cover a very, very controversial. Subject matter, Um, we are going to discover, I hope we discover the truth, behind chemtrails. They say to me, they, by the way, are the Environmental Protection Agency. They say to me, um, chemtrails are not real. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says so, EPA 2000, by the way. Scientists say so, allegedly. Contrails made up of water vapor have a byproduct of aviation, have been a byproduct of aviation ever since humans began to fly using jet engines. 
Um, and that is absolutely true, but there's only one little slight tiny problem with that. The Environmental Protection Agency omits the fact that water vapor dissipates within a matter of very few minutes. Mm-hmm. And they mm-hmm. don't get larger. The problem is this: uh, these vapor trails, if you want to call them contrails, and we're going to see what a, a search of contrails and chemtrails yields you, a real-time search. We're going to do it tonight. I will tell you, I've never seen a contrail in my life grow. I want to say that again. Mm-hmm. Contrails are water vapor. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Okay? Modern aviation w- cannot dispute it. Any pilot that's worth his salt will tell you, when I fly my plane, some of this stuff comes out the back and it's going to dis- disappear. You know, mm-hmm. in short order, it'll disappear. A few minutes or so. Eight, nine, ten, whatever the, the case may be. But the point is it will disappear it won't expand here's what's happening in in a lot of cases and i say a lot i mean tens of thousands of cases every Mm -hmm. day in every city across america and in fact around the world it's not an american problem it is a worldwide problem in fact it is a worldwide conjoined effort of manipulation sky manipulation weather manipulation you know you can call it what you want to call it a chemtrail by any other name is still poison to the body and so tonight we're going to find out how much poison and is there some good in this Well, you know, me, everybody knows me. I love a good conspiracy, but I have to tell you, I did some research today and the research independent, by the way, independent research and the research I did today yielded me some very, very interesting results. But before I get into my little dissertation or rant or whatever, (laughs) let me go to, um, The newest member of the team, Melissa, the Arctic Wolf Black. Melissa, you live very near uh, a hotbed of activity. Um, Tell everybody where you live and what famous um, anomaly is very near your home. I live within an eight-hour drive of Hart. Okay, you heard what she said. Mm-hmm. She lives within a few hour drive of Harp. All right. The a Harp, by the way, is not the kind you play. This is a different kind of Harp. We're actually going to do a show, an entire show on that that Harp. Harp is an acronym. It means the High Atmospheric Auroral Research Project. Simply put, it was designed to harness raw energy from the aurora borealis. Mm -hmm. That's not what they're using it for. They're using it to literally change the weather. Mm -hmm. And they're using chemtrails in conjunction with HARP. Mm -hmm. How and why are they doing this? And let me tell you how and why. In order for something to move, it has to have a receiver and a conductor. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Follow me, because this is science class 101. It has to have a receiver and a conductor. All right? Mm-hmm. In the harp, there are arrays of antennae. Plural for antennas, Uh antennae. Uh There are arrays of them, several thousand of them. And they Uh are, they have no other purpose than to create energy upward, upward energy. They literally can reach space. Okay, that's, that's true. Check it out if you think I'm bullshitting. The other thing 
with regards to the harp are chemtrails because chemtrails contain aluminum, mm-hmm. ammonium, mm-hmm. barium, mm-hmm. and a whole lot of phosphates. Mm-hmm. Right, Amelia. What, what yeah. else is in it? Silicone, uh, uh, carolside. Also, they have thorium. Is one of them. Polymar is another one that they have. And what do they all have in common? They are all highly electroconductive. Correct. So here is what happens up in Melissa's hometown, just not too far from where she lives. <laughs> they fire up that harp. Mm-hmm. If they want to move a set of clouds, they can do it. All mm-hmm. they got to do is point that harp toward this direction and they can move it. How are they able to do it? Because they've got conductivity in the clouds. They got mm-hmm. chemtrails up there that contain metal products. Okay. Mm-hmm. And those things will float for hours and hours and hours. And they get very large, very, very quickly. Oh, wow. Okay. A contrail will last at most 10 to 12 minutes. These things will last 8, 10, 12 hours. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hours we're talking about. So why should we be concerned then, Melissa, about... What's in the sky? I mean, it's just clouds they're moving around, right? Well, that's the impression that it puts off. But the long-term effect is not quite so simple. Um, I know that we our polar caps up here are melting at an alarming rate because of the fluctuations and the changes of weather. Um, mental health up here is highest out of some of the, all of the 50 states due to the fact that we do have a dark period, but the ups and downs and the fluctuation and the pressure that is caused from the fluctuations in the weather really screws with us. We Would you be headaches. surprised if I told you, maybe you wouldn't be surprised. Mm-mm. Amelia may be surprised. Amelia, if I mm-hmm. told you, that Alaska has more murders per capita than any other state in the United States. Would that surprise you? Wow. It does. Precisely because of what Melissa just said. They go from zero to 60 and back again in milliseconds. Wow. You're talking about a long, long period of night, uh-huh. extended periods of day, nothing really to do there. It's cold pretty much all the time. I don't know what Alaska summer looks like. I've never been there, but I can't imagine it's like being in, in you know, Wildwood, New Jersey or mm-hmm. Atlantic City laying on the beach. You mm-hmm. know, right. I don't know. Um, well, I'm going to ask Melissa. She lives there. Mm-hmm. So what's mm-hmm. it like there? Um, well, I will say we are approaching our winter solstice here on the 22nd of December. Okay. Um, that means that it'll be pretty much 24 hours of daylight or I mean darkness. Right. Mm. And the sun don't come up at all. However, after that, we start gaining so many seconds of daylight. So like by June... Mm-hmm. You can be outside at five o'clock in the morning. It's 90 degrees. The sun is out. Yes, we are out sunbathing in Alaska in the middle of the summer. And it's broad daylight. The birds are chirping. The sun is out because the sun don't go down until June 22nd when we have our summer solstice. Then we start losing daylight. Wow. See, I'm glad you explained that because I oh. wasn't aware of that. I figured Alaska was cold pretty much all the time. <laughs> no. Okay, wow. good. So how does, or how is, I should say not how does, but how is mm-hmm. the harp affecting the um, the influx of either clouds and or chemtrails in Alaska? And what are the 
residual effects of what you guys are dealing with. Are you dealing with respiratory problems or yes. headaches or that sort of stuff that they're they're claiming that chemtrails contain materials that will give you migraines, uh, respiratory uh, illnesses. Mm -hmm. um, there is, by the way, a, a absolute connection between COVID and chemtrails. That's not a mistake. I, you heard what I said. There's a connection between COVID and chemtrails. The connection is simple. Respiratory. Mm hmm when you're breathing in fiber that's falling from the sky, well, then one of two things is going to happen. You're going to get away from it. And if not, you're going to end up a victim of it. Okay. So if you, if you don't remove yourself from that problem, you become the problem. You, you cease to breathe properly. You, uh, you cease to have full function of your lungs, your, your, your nostrils, your, your every orifice that, you know, contains breath and life. So, um, Amelia, talk to us about what you know about all of this stuff, because you've done some extensive research. Oh, yeah. So they said that, like, with all the chemicals and everything, you know, each one of them has, like, aluminum and some of it is like if it attracts to air it turns dark uh and all the chemicals that attract to each other and you know like a pearl necklace and it attracts to each other and if it falls down it's all the chemicals that attract your lungs and cause anxiety fear uh and it also can cause you to have uh respiratory issues maybe even mm -hmm. for the rest of your life it can cause even when you breathe if you have central air yeah. you want to make sure that you change your uh, vents you have somebody clean your vents once a month at least because of yeah. everything mm -hmm. falls from the sky and here in florida if you notice we have beaches and stuff like that we've had a lot of covid because a lot of the elderly live here yeah and they get hit a lot harder because yeah, we're going to talk about that mm -hmm. too i'm glad you mentioned that we're mm -hmm. going to talk about, uh, extensively and later mm -hmm. in the show and i had um, some questions about that too if you could yeah. answer for me as well so melissa talk to me a little bit about um let's follow up on what amelia was just talking about talk mm -hmm. to me a little bit about how is alaska dealing with the onset of chemtrails and uh, respiratory issues uh, is the governor or the uh, the officials there doing anything to um, suppress the illness? Is uh, if there is any? Because according to according to the Environmental Protection Agency that I that's from their website, according mm -hmm. to the Environmental Protection Agency. Chemtrails are not real. Well, honestly, um, my knowledge on chemtrails was very limited. We don't really talk about it up here. It's not a subject that's brought up very often. Mm -hmm. um, heart really isn't a subject. It's nothing that's really been, I don't believe, discussed on an open forum um, I think it's been discussed more privately, but okay. as far as in general and public, not really so much. But if you look around at the changes in the environment and the atmosphere 20 years ago until now, yeah. um, a lot of our glaciers have receded by at least 30%, which is mm -hmm. astronomical. That's a um, lot. That, that's a lot that's of a lot. loss. Yeah, that's a lot of loss. Um, it is. Um, the sea life is being severely affected. Our salmon runs because with global warming, the melting of the solar caps also comes the warming of the water and our oceans, which are vital to sustaining sea life like whales, salmon, right. seals, polar bear, um, just our basic whole lifestyle in general is yeah. being affected. Our this year for long. So let me don't go. I don't want you to go down the rabbit hole, Melissa. I don't have time for that. What I want to ask you is what, according to what you know, 
What are chemtrails supposed to be doing for Alaska? What are they supposed to be doing? Nothing. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, According to what I'm reading here, it says an online essay might have been the first place. I'm sorry, the the first piece of writing connecting contrails to chemical spraying, even if it did not use the term chemtrails was 1996 Air Force paper on proposals to engage in weather modification. This is from the United States Air Force. Mm-hmm. To engage in weather modification in conjunction with, here's one that'll be familiar, Melissa, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, HARP, mm-hmm. right there on their website. This helped fuel speculation of military links among conspiracy theorists leading to online commentary under titles like Military Industrial Complex Taste Charge, Blast Skies with Chemicals. Evidently, what they're supposed to have been doing all this time is to spraying the atmosphere with reflective layers of thinly placed reflective layers of aluminum The theory behind it is to refract some of the light back into space to Mm -hmm. actually prevent global warming. That was that that's what they're saying right here. And I can provide anybody watching, I can provide you with this paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and it you it's easily accessible if you know where to get it. Mm -hmm. Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. They're not hiding it. I was very, very surprised, and and quite frankly, I was very happy to find out that they weren't hiding this. Mm -mm. Let me tell you what we got here. I have a question um, when you have a chance. Say again, please. I have a question when you have a chance. Please, yes. Fire Um, up. I noticed that you kept saying comtra- comtrails and chemtrails. Why are you? you why are? Why do they keep saying that? Why do they change that? I'm. I am going to do a show and tell for you on just that. Oh, good. Because I'm ready for you, kid. I got this. <laughs> I got this one. Um, before we do that, let's just tell everybody what we're talking about. Chemtrails refer to theories that governments engaging in a secret program to add toxic chemicals to the atmosphere from aircraft in a way that forms visible plumes. And that's what they are, folks. Mm -hmm. They're big, visible plumes in the sky, similar to Mm -hmm. contrails. Here's the thing. Various motivations for this alleged spraying are speculated, including sterilization. What does that mean? Population control. Yes. Reduction Mm -hmm. of life expectancy. What does that mean? So people don't live so long. Exactly. Mind control or weather or weather control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you where all these play into. Two places on planet Earth. Number one, Atlanta, Georgia, the, the Atlanta Guidestones, mm-hmm. the Georgia Guidestones. Number one. Number two, the harp. Anchorage, Alaska. Okay. Alaska. That's what we're talking about. Yes. It's, every, it's all connected, folks. Mm-hmm. It's all connected. Science is working on theoretical proposals for combating global warming called, I love the name they gave this shit, solar geoengineering. They also call it albedo modification. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why is it called albedo modification? Because one of my people... Leave it to an Italian. <laughs> One of my people is involved in this program, and it happens to be his name. Or it's, uh, I, I will should say this. Uh, it's the initials of his name. It's uh, his first name and last name. And that's combined. combined together. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Luck- oh, yeah, it's cool. It's real fucking cool. Yeah, that's what I noticed, too, with all these chemtrails since COVID and everything happened. We know, I noticed here in Florida there, there's a lot of chemtrails. And yeah. we have a lot of uh, behavioral health co- patients come in because mm-hmm. of the fear, anxiety, yeah. and all that, too. I've noticed that we had a lot more patients because of that lately here. You're, well, we're going to talk about that because there's a direct correlation between the chemtrails and COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, 
These might enable people to add materials to the Earth's atmosphere to reflect a bit more sunlight. I was just saying this. Yes. Back into space, partially masking or reducing the climate change due to amassed greenhouse gases. In other words, what they're saying is we're not hurting the planet. We're helping the planet. We're trying to get rid of these carbon gases, and this is the way we're doing it. Okay, well, you hmm. tell me how that works out for you, please, because I still don't <laughs> understand. The U.S. government's official position is that we have not seen any credible evidence that chemtrails exist. Well, guess what, government? Like I said, I love my country, but I hate my government because you're the lying <laughs> motherfuckers. You really are. You're lying. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to show you proof tonight that you're lying. And I'm going to show you proof that Donald Trump knows about it. Okay? <laughs> Watch this shit. If we did see, and they say, if we did see any evidence that governments were engaging their own people in this harmful way, we would be eager to expose and stop any such activities. That comes from not the Environmental Protection Agency. It comes from the Department of Homeland Security. Well, wow. I've got one question for you. Uh -huh. Since when does the Department of Homeland Security involved in environmental issues? I thought that was the Environmental Protection Agency. That's what I thought, too. Melissa, you care to offer a, the, your two cents on this one? Well, back to the conspiracy thing. Um, nothing goes on that the U.S. government does not know of or is Thank not you. aware of. Thank you. Thank and you. Homeland Security is a section of the U.S. government. Do you know that there's a, a very distinct and unique correlation between America 2022 and Nazi Germany 1942? You know what that distinct uh, uh, kinship is? <clears throat> It is the Department of Homeland Security. Adolf Hitler uh -huh. had a bureau. Mm -hmm. It was often referred to as the Propaganda Bureau. But the official <laughs> name for that bureau was the Department of Homeland Security. More wow. specifically, more specifically, it was called the Department of the motherland security because mm -hmm. Deutschland was <clears throat> called the motherland. Mm -hmm. Okay. They refer to it as a she. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> interesting, isn't it? Well, well, we're talking about chemtrails, but you know what? Mm -hmm. You can talk about chemtrails all day long. It doesn't do you any good mm -hmm. unless you really see one. So we're going to mm -hmm. see a couple and we're going to talk about them. All right. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> Oh, no, not yet. I don't want <laughs> you to see that one yet. Oh, I'm, no, no, not I'm yet. anxious. What? Don't. <laughs> He's teasing us. Not yet. Oh, no, I'm not going to show you that one yet. Let's show you this one first. Here you go. It's Dateline, dated July 2014. Killer chemtrails and contrails have been in the Medford Rogue Valley skies for, well, This is what we're talking now. about, folks. Is that one Actual plane? footage of the Medford skies and public mm -hmm. information to help That's not you a contrail, decide. folks. Either oh. the military or other government entities is causing numerous commercial or military jets flying crisscross patterns over the Medford Valley. The least it does is to raise the temperature of the Earth and advance global warming. The worst is the poison, uh, some unknown chemical distribution to the mass civilization of southern Oregon. And to what end? Just wow. like Vietnam and the government said, Agent Orange was not harmful, while thousands of vets died of Agent Orange cancer. Mm -hmm. I'm Bill Kiefer, former United States Marshal. I want you to hear what he said. Uh -huh. My name is Bill <laughs> Kiefer, former United, United States, States Marshal. So, mm -hmm. Okay? So this guy's not a crackpot like we are. Mm -hmm. Okay? <clears throat> Let's continue to watch. 
question what is in our skies and call everyone you can think of and complain. Drought is here. And NASA says it is because of global warming with all glaciers gone by 2030 or sooner and drought and death to follow. Believe it or not. I'm Bill Kiefer. Until next time. Good day to you. And thank you for listening to Think on These Things. A politician burst into the editorial office of the local newspaper and blurted out, You are telling lies about me in your newspaper and you know it. You should be thankful, replied the editor, <laughs> that we are telling lies. We could start telling the truth and then you'd really be upset. <laughs> when you don't have anything to hide, you won't have any trouble with the truth. Is there a problem with truth in our nation? Oh boy. I think so. <laughs> and the sad thing about oh it is that once we start having problems with truth, we soon start having problems with trust. Mm -hmm. We're at the point now where we don't trust our leaders. And that Did everybody hear what this man just said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what he said? No. Trust. trust. When trust becomes a factor, you've lost everything. Yes. If mm -hmm. We grew up, we all grew up believing God, country, and apple pie, and, you know, if the government said it, it must be true. But, but now we know that there are a bunch of lying fucking hypocrites who, who have no agenda except to maim, destroy, and kill. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. That's all governments do. And other than mm -hmm. that, they rob you blind and take all your fucking money. Yes. Mm -hmm. we're, I, we're actually going to do a show on that, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, on the, the new currency, because I got a piece. I, I'm not going to say too much. Um, <laughs> I have a piece of it. Yes. So I know what it's mm. going to look like. It's like they're telling us, say, oh, we're not going to do nothing, but they're doing this at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That wouldn't Watch have it. happened had they been truthful with us in the past. While many people in our day say that truth doesn't matter as long as a man can do his job, the leaders of the past took a different view. Herbert Hoover, speaking at the reception given him on his 80th birthday, said, A nation is strong or weak. It thrives or perishes upon what it believes to be true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That was a the, the most. I love whoever that guy was, and, I, I, and he sounds like a preacher, but he's actually not. Um, he's just a commentator. Um, I love the way he just. He, both of these guys just kept calm mm -hmm. the whole way through, and said, "You know, kind of use your head." Use your head, folks. Just think about what they're doing, mm -hmm. you know, and find a congressman. Find somebody that'll listen. First of all, you're not going to find a congressman that'll listen. Yep. It, those days are gone when you can call your congressman up. They're all out to lunch now, like literally out to lunch. And they, and they, they spend their whole fucking day eating. <laughs> right. I want you to take another look because this is I'm just not going to say anything. Just watch this. Look, I want if you have the gall to stare me in my face and tell me that what I'm looking at are water vapors coming out of the back of an airplane, I will bitch slap you silly. Because there's no way, uh -uh. no way an airplane is going to create that mass amount of no. vapor. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's smoke, not steam. That's not vapor. Watch.
Did wow. you guys see how long that trail was? Yes. And oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. If that you can thick. if you can look at me with a straight face mm-hmm. and tell me and have me believe mm-hmm. that that's a contrail, I will efficerate you. That's absolutely ludicrous to call that in any way, shape, or form a contrail. Because you're going mm-hmm. to see some examples of contrails right now. Those are contrails. Do you see them? Yes. Mm-hmm. I want you to keep your eyes on them because you're going to see another plane that's going to kind of really comes out of nowhere. It almost looks invisible. And there's a reason for it. It's a B it's a B twelve bomber. And you're gonna and you think these why is there a B twelve bomber here? Well, this was taken over New Jersey. And if you know anything about New Jersey, we have a, a couple of military installations here. Um Fort Dix and McGuire Air Force Base are now joined together. Uh it's called joint uh Joint, uh, joint base dicks. Okay, I'm sorry. Joint base McGuire. Watch this. Keep your eye on that top one right there. It looks invisible, doesn't it? You can barely mm-hmm. see it. You see that? Yes. You, uh-huh. can, you can barely see it. There's a reason for that. That jet, that B-12 bomber, uh-huh. is actually cloaked with stealth technology. They have uh-huh. something called a, a cloaking shield that kind of it, uh-huh. mass, it, it mimics the surroundings of wherever the jet is. Uh-huh. Okay? In other words, if that jet were in the desert right now, Mm-hmm. It would blend in with the sand. Oh wow! It's a, it's a mirrored finish, mm-hmm. is what it is. It's a, essentially that's what it is. It's a mirrored finish. Take a look. Watch it. My first B one bomber, B two bomber. A B two bomber. B two bomber here. The uh, the second one yeah. is a bomber, and we're going to lose it in just a second. No, the first one. Hmm. All right. Wow. That was the end of that. Yeah, that was all we had on that one. I, I yeah, a B two bomber. I'm sorry, I said B twelve, B two bomber. Um, mm-hmm. but that's what we're talking about. I mean, we're talking wow. about techn- if they've got nothing to hide, then why are they trying to cloak this plane? Exactly. That's what was my question. It's like, why were they wanting you know, to do something like that? I'm what? reading here, and I'm reading, and I'm reading, and it, it's all making great sense. Mm-hmm. But then I asked myself the question, well, then what are you trying to hide things for if this is such an innocent... I'm going to give you an, an, exactly what I'm, an idea of what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Actually, I've got to read it this way, because <laughs> I, I have to look this way. Sorry, sorry folks. <laughs> the chemtrail conspiracy theory. Because of the apparent similarities, remember what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Albedo modification, solar geoengineering, right? Watch. Because of the apparent similarities uh, between the proposed implementation of albedo modification, such as injecting reflective particles into the stratosphere, and the alleged methods for producing chemtrails, Mm -hmm. some people have linked the notion of chemtrails to the study of albedo modification. There is no evidence for the existence of chemtrails. This is from the EPA. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. I don't know. Did Mm -hmm. you guys just see my fucking show? (laughs) Because I just gave you some pretty impressive proof. Yep. Pretty Can't make this up. <laughs> it's right there. The ev- listen to this stuff. 
this is remarkable. Yet all the evidence we have seen to date has been very, very weak. Now, I don't know what they're looking at, but I found my stuff on the Internet. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's legit and I know it's real because it's got time stamps and date stamps from where they came from. All right. It's just crazy stuff. It's just crazy. The most common claim is simply that aircraft contrails look different without any comparative analysis. Well, I just gave you a great comparison because I showed you. I showed you contrails. Mm -hmm. And I showed you the purported chemtrail. I'm not going to put words in anybody's mouth. Melissa, did you see a difference between those two? Please tell me if I'm if I, and I'm not shoving anything in your mouth there. Yes, big difference. Tell everybody what we're talking about. The difference between chemtrails and contrails. Okay, and, and explain the differences, please. Elaborate. Well, first off, the the chem the contrails just the regular little jet. They're like a poof of nothing. But you look at that other one, it was a wide, huge mass of like rolling blackness barreling out the rear end of this plane. Yeah. Now, where can you say one is legit and the other one is not? Well, that's the million dollar question, mm -hmm. isn't it? Amelia. Yes. You know, what's causing it? That's what I want to know. Well, mm -hmm. you're going to find out in a minute. Amelia, mm -hmm. uh, your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, why would they say that's not real when you can see them both right there in the sky? They're right in front of you. They're right on top of they, you. Right they're right saying there. that there's no comparative yeah. analysis. Well, we just compared it. Yeah, exactly. And also, you know how they were saying in the earlier video that some of the uh, soldiers had died of the Agent Orange? Mm -hmm. Has there been any evidence of any of the pilots dying from the chemtrails or being uh, hurt from the chemtrails that they mm -hmm. sprayed? That was Here's a question the that I had. Here's the thing. I want to. We're going to get into this. Mm -hmm. You saw when. Remember the video you just saw with the man was talking and there were. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. On that video screen, you saw it said, "Why are they spraying and who's paying for this?" Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. If there really were, mm -hmm. I love how they say this. Yeah. If there really were a mm -hmm. large scale program. Mm -hmm. Dumping material from aircraft at the scale described, there would have to be a large operating program yes. to manufacture, load, and disperse materials. Yes. If such a program existed, if such a program existed at the scale required to explain the claimed amount of chemtrails, it would require thousands or perhaps tens of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. It already does. They're called the United States government. Mm -hmm. Do you know that this government, our government right now, employs, and you're going to shit when I tell you, the U.S. government employs almost 90 million people, Okay. That's almost half the country. That's not a, a fake number, folks. 90 million U.S. government employees around the world. The majority of them right here. Mm. Nine, almost 90 million. Wow. Okay. Think about what I just told you. Think about that. Let that sink in because it's their number, not mine. Uh. Okay. It would be extraordinarily hard to keep such a program secret because it would be very easy for a single individual in that program to reveal using leaked documents, leaked uh -huh. photograph, leaked hardware, leaked video. You've just watched all of the above. Yes. You just watched it. Mm -hmm. It didn't come from me. It came from the internet. 
Someone put it there. Somebody with a conscience put it there and said, hey, folks, our government's trying to kill us, and this is what you need to look out for. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Moreover, if such a program was intended to cause harm to fellow citizens, as alleged by the chemtrail people, Mm -hmm. then people would be working in the program People working in the program would be very, very strongly personally motivated to reveal such harm. Right. No, they mm-hmm. wouldn't. Let me tell you why. Because they're getting paid damn good money, number one. And number two, if they say anything, somebody's going to kill them. Yes. Do you understand that, that they work under threat of death? Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Do people don't understand that the United States government is the best paying employee on planet Earth? The best paying employee, I'm sorry, the best play, mm-hmm. paying employer on pa- planet Earth. I get all mm-hmm. them peas in there. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing, though. It's this is from them. It's from their website. It's from their website. All mm-hmm. I did was print it out. Yeah. They find a way to keep you working for them no matter what. They will find a way to Absolutely. keep you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And if you don't play ball with them, then you're dead. Yes. Okay. That's why I never served in the military and never will. And I don't support the, the military and never will. I support the men and women mm-hmm. who lay their lives on the line. I support them wholeheartedly. But I do not support the military installations like the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. I do not support the military industrial complex. But I will absolutely support those brave men and women who fight every day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So let me make that real clear. Let's take a look at this. Oh, before we do. Mm -hmm. Before we do. Let's talk a little bit. Can we talk? Can sure. We talk? Sure. All right. So we have this grand conspiracy, which I think we can all uh, safely surmise now is not really a conspiracy, but more a um, a quandary, a quagmire of, okay, well, now we know it's there. They're acknowledging mm-hmm. Because they, they really have, they have, they've acknowledged that it's there. Okay, so they've done that. Now, now what? Melissa, now what? What, what happens now? Well, <clears throat> growing up in farming communities, I'm pretty familiar with the setup of how planes are constructed. Like you got your 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 planes that spray the crops, you know, for to keep the vegetables and the clean clean. Um, what have they installed special on these other planes that is going to enable them to spray this crap separate from the regular exhaust, which is what a calm trail is made from. So in, there have to be two separate devices on this plane, one for regular exhaust, because you got to have it, and a separate, a separate setup designed to disperse this crap. You're going to see that tonight, Melissa. I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove. I am going to prove what you just said. I'm going to prove it in okay. just a moment. Amelia, mm-hmm. um, have you ever seen a chemtrail plane? I have you ever seen one fly over? I have actually here in Florida. There's so many of them. We'll be driving around, and they're they're actually the plane over us, actually doing the trails as we're driving. It's What's the, let me ask you a question. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. What is the most noticeable aspect of a chemtrail plane? Well, it looks like a small little engine plane here, from what we Thank see. Thank you. You know why? Mm-hmm. Why? Because it's so high up. Mm-hmm. They're flying at 70, 80,000 feet. Oh, wow. And you're going to see these planes that can do that. Mm-hmm. 
there mm-hmm. are they fly on the edge of like basically on the edge of space mm-hmm. because it do, really people don't understand this and I I'm not you know I'm not a scientist and I'm not you know um, a physicist but it doesn't take long to get into space right it mm-hmm. really really doesn't it it, it really doesn't mm-hmm. there there have <laughs> been weather balloons weather balloons. Okay, mm-hmm. that have made it into orbit. Mm-hmm. There have there are hot air balloons, mm-hmm. hot air balloons that have made it to the edge and almost into orbit. There's one problem: the hot air balloon is going to crash and burn before it gets to to that height. But it will mm-hmm. get up there. Mm-hmm. But then it'll just it'll just drop like a rock to the ground. And God help anybody in it. Right. Mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of them here. Sometimes they'll have a contest that they'll have some. That's the, you You said the thing I was looking for. Mm-hmm. They look like little crop yeah. dusters. Yeah, it's so little. And but they're the... so high up. Mm-hmm. That's the mm-hmm. thing. We're going to take a look at something right now. And I'm really anxious to mm-hmm. show you guys this. Take a look at this. You're going for the first time, I think maybe ever. I think for the first time on any program anyway, you're going to see the inside of a chemtrail plane. Oh, goodness. Take a look Mm. at this. And by the way, they are commercial airliners that have been gutted and retrofit, as you can see. That's a commercial airliner. It is not. It is not a military jet. Is that copper? That's oh, copper that? wiring, yes. Mm-hmm. That's copper tubing. It's copper tubing. It's mm-hmm. uh, copper wiring. There's all kinds of... You see those those big canisters? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They're all connected to each other. When one empties, mm-hmm. the other one goes. Oh, wow. It's, it's a feeding system. You understand what I mean by that? Uh huh. Okay, mm-hmm. watch. Oh, Do the presidents wow. know. Oh, wow. That's Do the Donald presidents Trump. know they exist. There's Donald Trump. That's Donald Trump. Okay. Mm -hmm. On a chemtrail plane. Do the presidents know? Yes. At least (laughs) one of them does. Okay. What they did, because I know a little bit about this picture. What they did is they told the president the same line of horse shit that I just read to you. Mr. President, this is a part of a Solar geoengineering program to help combat climate control. In fact, what they're doing is the absolute opposite. They're creating global warming. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing. Why would they do that? They breathe the same air, don't they? Well, apparently they don't. Because the air they breathe is underground in deep underground military bases. We're also going to talk about that at some point. We're going to do a show called Dumbs. Which I'm going to... Hmm. He was the only one brave enough to actually take a picture like that, probably. That's Donald Trump. Yeah. So, Amelia, you... Let, let me ask you a question. Hold on, mm-hmm. Amelia. You said you said something interesting. Do you think that that President Trump knows what was going on here? Oh mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Do you think? Yeah. Yes. Okay, because I, I want to make sure that we were on the same page yes. here. Okay.
see how all these planes are different? Very different. They're, they're all different, but they all have the same setup. They all It's all on a feeder system. When one canister mm-hmm. is emptied, another one kicks in. How many is in that one plane, you think? Just, well, I'll tell you how many is just on that one side that I can mm-hmm. see. We got three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13 I got 14. Maybe. You're looking at about 25 just wow. in that picture. And mm-hmm. that's only what we can see. And that's only what we can see. Okay. Okay. This captain Mm -hmm. is a Japanese captain. He was fired, fired Mm -hmm. for taking this picture. Because he's one of the good guys that was trying to blow the whistle off of here. And they got rid of him. Of course. What you're looking at is the idea behind, you see that clouding there? Yes. Mm-hmm. The idea behind that is for the sun to reflect back into space to supposedly cut down on global warming. But mm-hmm. the way I read this, it's doing nothing but increasing global mm-hmm. warming. Because it's trapping everything inside. Sometimes it mm-hmm. looks like that here in Florida. In, in Florida, sometimes I've seen it look like that here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I don't know where this photo was taken, but mm-hmm. it could be any town USA. Yeah. That's what you see a lot. You see that a lot. Yes. I want you to notice that that. It looks like a random pattern, doesn't it? Yes. Melissa, look yeah. at that. It looks like a random pattern, right? Mm-hmm. I want not. you to take a very, very good look. It's not. It's not random. Mm-mm. What do you see in that mix? Well, if I were to pay a clip to the most obvious, when you go over to the far, I guess it'd be right-hand corner on my side, you see where it's got the line that goes through the middle, then it's got the upside down V. It's uh-huh. almost like the sign of the, excuse my French, the Illuminati or the sign of the symbol that you would see on our American dollar. It's it's satanic. That's, exactly that's no doubt. What that's mm-hmm. exactly what it is. Yes. That's exactly what it is. It's mm-hmm. an inverted anarchy symbol is what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because no greater anarchist than the than the federal government. Exactly. Yeah. You can't, people don't understand. You can't make this shit up. You know? Now that's just crazy. Look at that. That looked like an alien to me at first when I first saw it. <laughs> These guys were just having fun spraying the shit out of everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is from my hero, George Carlin. Oh, beautiful for toxic skies, insecticided plains, for dirt capped <laughs> mountains, majesty. Above the asphalt plains, <laughs> America, the whatever it is, to be continued. Mm-hmm. That's George Carlin. That man was a patriot. Sorely missed as well. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. that. We have, I told you, we had a lot of video tonight. A lot of video. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, anybody? Yeah, uh, go ahead, Melissa. Oh, I was going to say, um, I did find, I was watching on YouTube on various, I, I can't remember what channel, and it was a debunking for that kind of thing. Right. And what they discovered when they took the wings apart on a regular, like, military, regular plane, full-size plane, 
there was the regular ejector, but inside of them were these little tiny black cylinders that went in between each spot that also separately injected a fume. Therefore, they were saying they used it only for cloud seeding to help right. our atmosphere produce more rain. Well, let me address that because I know a little bit, quite a little bit about that, as a matter of fact. Um, the idea of cloud seeding is not new. It's been around mm -hmm. since the dawn of flight. Okay, so we know what we know the benefits of cloud seeding. We also know how it's done, uh, and you can do it in a crop duster. You can do it mm -hmm. in a biplane. You can do it in a small craft. Okay, and it's and that's how it's normally done anyway. Now, enter the jet age. Now you're mm -hmm. taking on a whole different ball game here. Now this is like mass on a massive, massive scale. Mm -hmm. This is no longer cloud seeding. This is cloud manipulation. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you start fucking with what God created, mm -hmm. you are going to pay a serious, hefty, hefty fine. Okay. And it's not a fine you can measure in money. It's a point you can only measure in your in terms of your soul, right. mm -hmm. your salvageability. I've said before, and it's one of my favorite Bible quotes: "To whom much is given, much is required." Mm -hmm. I, and I, that's why I don't I don't ask for much because much isn't required of me. Okay, just to serve the Lord with all my heart, and I'm working on that too. But here is a big point of contention, and it really, really is. Who's paying for this? Where are they getting the money from? And what's the end game? I have the answers to those questions for you. The money is coming from a program called USAP. Mm -hmm. It's unacknowledged special access programs. They're called black programs. They are programs of the federal government that have no oversight. They have no committee. They are answerable to no one. To, mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not even the president is required to know about them. Why? Wow. Two simple words, folks. Two simple words. Plausible deniability. Mm -hmm. If someone mm -hmm. says, President Trump, do you know about the chemtrail program? If he says, no, I don't, then he's a damn liar. Because you've mm -hmm. got a photo of him on a chemtrail plane. Right. A legitimate photo, not a Photoshop. Mm -hmm. That's a real photo. We know because there's a corresponding video that I wanted to show on the air tonight, but I'm not allowed. Mm. Not without getting in serious shit. Okay? But I can show you the picture. Let's take a look. I want you to look at this. I, the, first of all, we're showing a video here, and I want you to. St I'm going to stop this. I'm stopping this because I want you to see what we're looking at. You're looking at the nozzles on the plane. Like I said, it's a regular commercial airliner, retrofitted. Okay. There's the turbofan. These are the nozzles. Mm -hmm. Look, they're on both sides, two and two. Those nozzles are connected to those barrels you saw, those canisters. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's continue, because they're, they're flying, by the way, at about 65,000 feet here. Take a look.
This was from Spain, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, Amelia might be able to translate because it's written in Spanish. Uh, can you translate that, Amelia? Um, let's see. Uh, it says, Questo video is es, Go ahead. Um, YouTube 14. Uh, I guess we'll go in 2010. I'm um, intro contestado. Yeah, what did you translate it for me, please? Uh, I guess it was created in 2008. Uh, okay. Oral, uh, let's see. So, uh, um, it's a military plane, from what I see here. Uh, in Noma de Canal, uh, USA, something. Police uh, in the military. So, uh, yes. Uh, it's a Oh, no. I don't know what that is, but it's something. It's all right, let's, let's continue. So, all right, it's let's hard to, continue. Because apparently it's nobody like. can. It's hard to see that word. Yeah. So, is that two planes together on the right side? It sure is. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see what they just did? Mm -hmm. They turned it off. Watch. Stop they spraying. Stop spraying. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just watch. Just again, this is a great shot because you can see mm -hmm. very, very clearly. You can see the nozzles. You see those mm -hmm. two nozzles? Pointing? Yes. Both sides. Both sides. And I believe you're going to see that plane crank it up again, too. So hold on. I just want to make sure it's the right clip. If I'm right, you should see it. He's going to. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh my turn, goodness. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's the right one. Yeah. I wanted you to see how he turns it back on. See? Now, did you see there? All four of them are going now. Mm -hmm. All four sprayers. Mm -hmm. And you can count them, and you can see where they're coming out of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoever did this video, by the way, they were flying above that airplane. The people who captured this video were flying above the plane in another plane. And I love how they stop it and show you what's going on here. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of my favorite videos that I got. So were they like flying and then spraying and then I guess they were told to just fly a little bit further and then spray again mm -hmm. after so much. Mm -hmm. Is that what it said? No, is that what it is? That's what it looked like. It looks like they stopped for a little bit and they sprayed. Oh yeah, again. well that's what they do. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. if, if I might interject... Something I did notice that I found a little interesting is if you notice when it stopped, there was no lights. But when it started again, those side lights blinked. It signaled to something uh, yep. that it, it was sure starting did. to proceed. It sure the hell did. It signaled to the, the uh, corresponding plane. You will notice that none of these chemtrail planes ever fly by themselves. Mm -hmm. They're always another one or two, either on either side or crisscrossing a pattern with them. They never fly by themselves. They're always in teams. They always fly in teams. Some people have even suggested, this is kind of far-fetched, but it's one of my favorite conspiracies. Mm -hmm. Some people have even suggested that they're signaling to UFOs, giving them signals. I would love that to be the case because I'm, I'm a fucking UFO nut. You know, and we all know that. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about. Um, Again, we have another video to show you. I'm, gonna, I'm saving the best for last. Here we go. Remember? 
Okay. Look at that thing. That look like an airplane to you? Looks like a rocket. Looks like a it torpedo. Looks like a rocket. Yeah. What's it look like, uh, Melissa? It looks like a torpedo. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it it's like one is, of those Mr. Tilly self-guided torpedoes. It is a full-size functioning drone. A drone? Mm. It is okay. a remote. It is a remote-controlled drone used for chemtrail spraying. Wow. And you're going to mm -hmm. see it. And again, it's got stealth technology. There you are. You're looking at it. Wow. You see how small it is? You can barely see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People don't understand. Unless you... Unless you... Uh, uh, hiding under a rock and have never seen a chemtrail... That's what it's, it looks like. And you can actually see. I don't know if you're seeing that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. have you? did you see that airplane disappear and come back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show it again. This is called cloaking technology. Watch. Watch this. It's freaky. It's going to fade out. Oh, shit. Here we go. It's going to fade out and then, then fade back in. Watch. These are still photographs. There it is. There's that that torpedo, Melissa. That's a drone. There's nobody in that thing. Mm -hmm. That's just flying at will. <clears throat> and it's a full size. It's, a, it's it's the size of a commercial airliner. Wow. With, no one, with no one flying. You hear what I'm saying? The technology is awe inspiring if they use it for good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dangerous in a way because you think about it. They do that it's for... very dangerous. But if they, <clears throat> if yes. they took that technology, Amelia, mm -hmm. and used it for good, mm -hmm. there's no telling how many benefits we can gain from it. Exactly. Instead of trying to destroy the world a little bit every fucking day, because that's what they're doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Little do they know that, you know, God don't play like that. No. No? No, he don't. All right. Now, let's watch it. One more video. Watch this. Okay, there is a chemtrail plane in action. Okay? I want you to notice as he's flying, the trail behind him is getting bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it's staying there, and it's going to plume open. It's going to expand. A contrail does not, cannot, and will not do that. It just doesn't do oh, that. Oh, my goodness. That's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. That is what they're doing to your skies. They're killing your skies. The sky that God created, they're destroying it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get on my soapbox because you know what? Somebody needs to. This is what they're doing. They're destroying a, a, an amazing creation. But that's all the military and government know how to do. Mm -hmm. All they know how to do is maim, kill, and destroy. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to see this plane. You're going to see these planes, how they're retrofitted. 
This is what we're talking about. I want you to take notice of everything you see. Take note. Looks like an evil laboratory, don't it? It does. Mm -hmm. That's an airplane. Look at that. Do you wow. see where they're coming out of? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you see those those sprayers on the back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Contrails come out of the engine. They mm -hmm. don't come out of sprayers. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. They come out of they're they're from engine vape. They're from vapor. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. You want a smoking gun? There it is. Yep. You're looking at a condenser that pushes that poison out. Mm -hmm. I want you to see where they are. You see the icebergs in the background? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could very, very well be somewhere in Antarctica or Alaska or, or somewhere. It could be the Bering Sea for all we know. But I see icebergs in them waters there. Mm -hmm. the big ones in the background. There you go. You see underneath there? Wow, look at all that. Mm -hmm. Yet again. More sprayers. <laughs> There's chemical tanks hidden inside what look like a normal passenger plane. Suspicious, is it not? Damn. No, it's first class beer barrels. <laughs> I love that. Whoever wrote that was. <laughs> Because they look like beer barrels, don't they? That's what I was going to say. Did you see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like they gutted out that plane and just put their... Yeah. Well... Do you have any idea what they are? They look like little call horns or something at one time. They kind of look like horns, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's reminds me of trumpets. Yeah, like little call exactly, horns. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. What they are, you remember that plane that you saw? The one that had the huge, gigantic plume? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's where that plane was spraying from, from right there. Oh, wow. It oh. was mounted. It wasn't mounted on the back. It was mounted on the side of the airplanes. If you'll notice, you see the window behind uh -huh. there? Yes. What they did was they took the window fitting and retrofit it with a sprayer. That's, your, that's a window opening where that sprayer is. Because you can uh -huh. see the other window. What That aircraft, by the way, is a Learjet.
this was the only tank that I could get that had writing on it that I could see. It says, warning, rupture disc area. I don't know what that means. I tried to look up that term, but mm-hmm. it's got a couple different meanings, and I don't know how to apply it to this. It's, it says, rupture disc area, whatever that means. <laughs> That's Donald Trump. You're looking at the president right there. Okay? Don't tell me he don't know. There's that pilot again. So, the pretty much you get the gist of it, right? Yes. Look at mm-hmm. all those things. Okay. So, oh yeah, this is a, a interesting because you're going to see like a couple of close up shots. I want you to see this. You see, none of these tanks have any writing on them. None at all. It's like just regular tanks to us, but I yeah. know what they are. And I tried to look up that company. There you go. There are those, those sprayers. You saw them sprayers before, remember? Mm-hmm. Yes. So there's the sprayers. Um, he clearly, and that's Air Canada, by the way. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, every country has a spray program. The real reason they'll never admit it to you. They'll never, in a million years, they'll never admit it. But they're telling people that they're trying to help the environment. Well, it's a hell of a way to help the environment, let me tell you. Okay? Hell of a way. That's just crazy stuff. Absolutely so, crazy. You, yeah, I mean, you get the idea here. It's... um. There's mm-hmm. just a lot of stuff. Oh, mm-hmm. and let's, let's talk about, you know, Emil, you asked me a question mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah, it's about the pilots. Have you, you know, how the Agent Orange was hurting the soldiers when they were mm-hmm. coming back? Have you heard anything about this? these chemicals hurting the pilots that sprayed them? Yes. Yes. Like, you know, yeah, not just like the depression, anxiety, but like hurting them, like. Yeah, and you're going to see. In fact, I'm going to show you some right now. I'm going to pull it up here if I, Mm -hmm. hold on. Let me just make sure I have it. I want to make sure I have it first before I do anything. Um, Because I know I have two airline pilots talking about chemtrails. And I want to make sure that I pull the right one up. Because uh, if, if I don't, it's going to look embarrassing. Um, I might be able to insert it in. You know, I may be able to edit it in. Um, where did you go? Some gun. Um, I think it might be here. I have the so many chemtrail videos. I'm just. I want to make sure I just get like something we can use here um yeah i don't know um yeah well i'm not finding what i'm looking for so i'm gonna have to do it like a lot of respiratory issues do you remember if they had that something like that 
respiratory issues. Yeah, the guy, the, the gist of it was, mm-hmm. and I'm going to find, I'm going to, when I edit this, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in. Okay. Um, the gist of it was that he's got emphysema and COPD now mm-hmm. from whatever this stuff is. That apparently, being in the presence of this stuff, if you like, if you smell it, yes, it can make you sick. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine what they're doing, spraying it over thousands and thousands of miles? Oh, absolutely, especially breathing. They've been that doing stuff, this then. for years, but I had, I had a chemtrail website years ago mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in 1996. 96, okay, what we're talking about here. I was threatened what? with everything, but we're going to hang you by your fucking toes. I had, let me tell you something, I took that thing down so fucking fast, it made people dizzy, okay? When you get a cease and desist order from the National Program Office, they don't play, okay? They don't play. Mm. All right. Not at all. That's awful. You to, yep. Watch this. Let's let's search. Let's search chemtrail. Okay. By the way, let me know when you see the word chemtrail. Because it okay. only appears on here twice. Okay. So you see that one, that one. video in the middle there? I see. Mm-hmm. What does it say? It says rare contrails. contrails. Right. Early morning 787 Dreamliner. Okay. Mm-hmm. They lied on every account. It wasn't a 787 Dreamliner. It was a 747 Jumbo Jet. And it wasn't a contrail. It was a chemtrail. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't early in the morning. It was at, in the evening. Mm-hmm. This, is the kind of, this is the kind of crap. There's chemtrails exist. Yeah. Uh, uh, you saw that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do chemtrails exist? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There it is right there. Mm-hmm. Anybody questions, comments? Contrails, look at that. It's another it all, one. It's all contrail. Contrail, contrail. contrail. That's right. It's... You can't search uh-huh. the word chemtrail. Uh-uh. It won't come up on YouTube. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We have no way of knowing, too, how long these they last on the ground. Do they? YouTube is scrubbing everything with any kind of conspiratorial overlay to it. Hmm. Look at that. Another yeah. one. Look at this shit. Contrails, contrails. Just another. Contrail. All contrails. Not, one, not once. I mean, not, I... not one time do we see the, the word chemtrail. They expect us to believe it's vapor, yeah, in their own terms, but they don't want us to believe that it has all these aluminum and barium and therium in it and all these other chemicals yeah. that silicone especially stuff and uh, these little crystals and stuff like that that you see what they're calling these things yeah they're calling them contrails i don't understand why i mean think about it's not vapor that disappears (laughs) people it's clouds little thick little things that stay in the sky (laughs) for a long time you're not going to tell me that that picture in the middle Uh -uh. are contrails no you know, insult my intelligence a little more, please. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I did my research too. I mean, look look at the uh, stuff that's in these chemtrails, people. Look go at, look at the ingredients in there. Read what they are. The polymer. Read what that is. I mean, mm-hmm. do your research. I mean, the silicone. Yeah. Look at that. Read the aluminum uh, salts. Read all the what's in there, people. Read up. I mean, none of this stuff was like this when I was growing up. It can't be good for you. No. Look it up. I mean, read what's in, the, what's in these stuff. Let me look it up. It's right there. You cannot. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, it's right there, people. Yeah, it can't be good for you, that's for sure. No, it's not. I mean, when I was it growing up, I didn't look up in the sky. I saw blue skies when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah. Nothing well, like you this. know, it's like that, like what George Carlin wrote, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yes. You know, he the, 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 uh, the end of what he wrote was, America, America, man mm-hmm. sheds his waste on thee. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. And... And drowns its good in mm-hmm. mo- uh, in motherhood or something like that. Yeah, uh, it's, from uh, sea to oily sea. But right. The, the <laughs> point is, mm-hmm. um, it's not the same America. It's not. It, it, you know, first of all, America isn't a country anymore. It's no. a business. It is, and it's owned. This country, by the way, has an owner. Okay, it's owned. We are employees, like it or not, we are employees of the Corporation of the United States. Okay? It's no longer the United States of America. It is a corporation of nine men called the Council of Nine mm-hmm. from, the richest, from the richest families in the world. Right. Okay? The Committee of 300 are the overseers. Mm-hmm. And this country is a corporation, and you are basically, you're here by its good grace. That's what they say. I think God's going to have something to say about that. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Melissa. Yes. Your first day in the hot seat. What do you think? Um. I'm not surprised, but it's very sad. You know, we were fortunate enough to at least be able to grow up in an era where we kind of got to enjoy the world for, for all that was good. But the way things are going, there's not no, there's not going to be much left for the future for our grandchildren, much less great grandchildren. And that I makes me very beg sad. To differ with you. I will beg to differ with you. I happen to be, fortunately for me, I read a lot. Fortunately for me, I am an eternal optimist. Also fortunate for me, I read the end of the book first. Then I read the <laughs> okay. beginning of the book. And the end of the book says... We'll be okay. Yeah. The end of the book says we'll be okay. There is, we're going through, we are going through that time right now when the bad people have to, hate to say it, folks, but the bad people are going to win for a while because they have to. Why do they have to? Because it was written that way in the book a long time ago, and that book has been pretty spot on. Okay, those guys were the best psychics in the world, brother. I'm gonna tell you something. Mm-hmm. All right, you think I'm good? <laughs> they were good. Um, and plus, you gotta remember too, they had a heads up because they were hanging around the man, they were hanging around mm-hmm. the guy. Um, understand that things only become bad. If you allow them to become bad. As this country was built on martyrs and saints and patriots. And people that were willing to die and lay down their life for freedom. So that you could enjoy your Rolex watch and your iPhone 17 or your whatever the fuck. It is 20 now probably. You never know. (laughs) Of course, a gazillion dollars. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. These people did it with bow and arrows Mm -hmm. and muskets. Yes. They did what you government can't do with jet fighters and and rocket ammunition and all the best that money can buy. You still can't do. You still 
fucking can't do what these guys did with a couple of muskets and some cannonballs. Because you don't have it in you. You just don't, and you never fucking will. Because you're weak. So right. weak minded people and a weak minded yes. country. Uh-huh. And that's why other countries look at us and they <laughs> fucking laugh. Because we're a laughing stock. We're a fucking joke. And we deserve to be, because we are. Okay? Mm-hmm. I tell people all the time, I'm embarrassed as shit to call myself an American, and I don't. I'm an Italian American. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's what I call myself. Anyway. Yeah. Because it was my people that discovered this fucking joint. Don't forget that. No. And we're named after an Italian. Don't fucking forget that one either. Mm-hmm. Amelia, tell everybody what's coming up. Yes, actually, this Thursday on the 17th, we're actually going to be revisiting Jonestown, the aftermath, part two. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Well, probably and a little Melissa, twist what to else it. is coming up? What was that? I said, Melissa, what else is coming up? What's coming up next week? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Actually, um, November 29th, we're going to be doing... Uh, Amelia, so, what's coming up next week? So November 29th, actually, um, November 22nd, we're going to be visiting uh, JFK, the assassination. Yes, okay. the, the assassination. And, of, oh, we got some shit. And I'm what not getting any older that day either. <laughs> <laughs> we got like some day. stuff to show on that day, but I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you what. I'm going to, maybe I'll give you a little heads up. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can get it. Mm-hmm. Man, it would be lovely to get a little heads up on the yeah. JFK. And then let's um, see. While he's looking for that on the 24th, we're going to take a little um, bit of a break uh, for Thanksgiving. I think I found what I'm looking for. <laughs> I found it. Yay. You want to see the Yay. video with the, with the kill shot? Let's see. <laughs> This is it. This is filmed across the street from the grassy knoll. You're going to see the shooter. You're going to see the muzzle blast. Watch this a couple times. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you when. Right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. Do you <clears throat> see that wall? Yes. Do you see that wall? Uh-huh. Do you see that little encroachment above that wall there? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right beyond that wall there. Let's go backwards and take a little look. Okay. You have to look good, but there's activity behind that wall. There are people, it's interesting. There are people today who swear, they swear to God that the mm-hmm. motorcade stopped. Mm-hmm. They swear the motorcade stopped. Mm-hmm. No piece of film. None, no piece of film that I've seen shows the motorcade stopping. They said it came to a dead stop. I want to know where and how. Because this is like, I literally have like 50 pieces of film Mm -hmm. showing different angles of the assassination. And nowhere... Nowhere did it stop. Okay. You're going to see on the film, you're going to see what looks like a blue flash. Okay? That's important. That's a muzzle blast. See how slow they're going? Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Now watch this. Watch them pick up. Now they pick up. You see? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's Clint Home. I mean, the, uh, Clint Hill jumping on the back of the uh, limo. This was after the president already. His, his head was pretty well splattered. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's interesting, too, because like you said, there's a lot of theories about that. Watch it again. This is going to be a really interesting show to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Be, watch this very carefully. Okay. Past the wall. And then they go. Mm-hmm. The shooter was right behind that little in, in, encroachment there. Mm-hmm. Very, very interesting stuff. Mm-hmm. You see that guy there in the red shirt? Yes. Mm-hmm. Running, running up those stairs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He ran. He was running after the shooter. He was right there. He was right there. So nobody's going to tell me that Lee Harvey Oswald shot the president from a block away in front of the book depository. Uh-uh. Because it was a fucking block away. Exactly. By the way, you're going to see the, you guys know this a Bruder film. You've heard of that? No. No. No? No. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I was too young to remember that. Remember, I wasn't. You have an yet. Internet. You have the, you were, you, the Zabruder film. I'm going to oh be looking God. that up. I'm going to have to do that show myself, folks. I'm going to be looking that up. I'm going to have to do that show myself. <laughs> yeah, I, that's I, I can't risk that. I have to do that myself because um, you guys just don't know. Um, that's a shame too. I want you to do some research. I'm definitely going to be doing some research with that. Yeah, yes, please do. Absolutely. Otherwise I'm going to have to do it myself. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. so listen, that's what's going on. We got a lot of stuff coming up for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, join us Thursday night. We were going to talk about Jonestown, the aftermath yes. of Guyana and the people's temple cult for Amelia Pipple Chapman, my producer at large for <laughs> Melissa, the Arctic Wolf Black, my co-host. So far, you're doing okay? You haven't screwed up too terribly bad? Um, I don't know how you don't know the Sapruder film, though. Both of you. I'm going to have to go with you guys. I'm the mad dog. Take care, and we'll see you Thursday night. Bye-bye.